guys welcome back to the SE base in today's video is me with my girl so it's Ethel here and Egewa Elizabeth <laughs> she's also known as Lizzie and then I have here Josephine yeah aka the makeup artist for my <laughs> wedding yes so in today's video is a very short one guys so we are just going to ask individual questions and then we are going to just react to it so it's just, I've listed them down because, you know, my memory is quite short today. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know that, that. So I'm just going to ask and then everyone is going to, I mean, share the opinion of what they think. So to begin, I'm just going to ask the first question. So, but before we start, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in today to watch us today. And if you are new on this channel, I urge you to join the family. This family is a happy family. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's a happy family. So kindly join by subscribing. Honestly, um, I don't really have a problem because Desmond has two best friends, right? Not best friends. He's got two female friends. One lives in London. The other girl lives in Ghana. And they live afar. And it's different if the person lives, if they both live, I mean, uh, near. Close. It would be a problem for me, honestly, yeah, to, be, yeah. to, to be honest. Because my, in my mind, I'll be like, if Desmond is not back home on time, it's either yeah, he has yeah, passed through yes. Federica's house or maybe which is he's not normal thing. Which is normal. It's, it's yeah, really not normal. Thinking. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't really have that mindset now. And I don't even want to think about it because I've known them before we entered into marriage. So it's not something new. But maybe I didn't know he had this, you know, girlfriend and one we just got married. One day she, she just yeah. confirmed, this is my friend. I mean, my close friend. I'm like, hey. What do you mean by that? I mean, yeah. for that is on. Even though you get you get to know her, but still, no. it will not be the same. Do you yeah. get my point? Yeah. So for me, I mean, I'm cool with my husband's girl friends. I mean, mm -hmm. I call them sisters. I don't call them because they are literally my friends as well. So it makes it even easier. easier yeah. yeah. So for me, that's cool. But I don't know about Jojo. <laughs> the way she's doing. <laughs> no. It's okay no. for her. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, as you yeah. guys said, if yeah. I know the ladies mm -hmm. and I'm cool with them, yeah, fine. As you mean me, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, but let's say but someone else. When you when it comes into best friend, I'm yeah. your best friend because exactly. you share your personal things with your best friend. Yeah. You share private yeah. things and yeah. moments with your best friend. Yeah. So I'm your best friend, but you can't say, oh, my husband or my man can have female friend. Yeah. But if I know them. And it's not a thing that you have female friends. It's not necessarily that I have to know all of them. But somebody that maybe, as you were saying, mm -hmm. he talks to them on a regular basis, like they, they're quite close. I would prefer knowing them as well because I don't want any kind of competition. It's like, I'm competing with my man with you. No, yeah, that's not yeah, happening. Yeah. Or some of the girls, maybe they're cool with your man, but then when they see you, they'll be giving you side face and like... Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, exactly. So that yeah. that moment, I, me personally, my husband or my boyfriend or whoever, I'll say, it looks like your friend, your friends don't like me. Yeah. Yeah. So if you so if you're, you're acting a bit different when I'm yeah. around, yeah. Uh, definitely. Or, no, we can't that and obviously, yeah. when, which with, with, when you're married is different. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. When honestly, you're married yeah. is different. You need to respect that kind of yeah. intimacy, intimacy at that time. Yeah. You know that. Why would you, if you guys are used to calling each other, like, let's say, 10 p.m., you know that now he lives with the wife. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, exactly. there yeah. should be exactly. boundaries. Yeah. yeah that's Unless you have that that stubborn, friend, but that let, stubborn girlfriend that she's then like, then that's a question, oh, man. I'm coming to destroy I'll, the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. In myself, but I will block you. But I would say you can have friends and there should be boundaries. Yeah, yeah. You, you should, should set boundaries. boundaries. Because yeah. as I said earlier, people are toxic. Even yeah. your own best friend can take your man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. trust no one, pray. Yeah, that's true. And that's it. What about you? Mm. Oh no, 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 no. She will block you. <laughs> For her, she's good. She's good with blocking. She blocked me one time. <laughs> me, I just want my husband to be friends with just the men. And my friends. Mm. But <laughs> oh, so me would yeah. you? He can have he can have my, my best friend, your best friend. Yes, yeah, talk to them. But even if I talk to them, like my but friends have you, to you call don't, me. You don't want to. I mean, have. Um, I mean, how do I put it? You don't want to be friends with his girlfriends, mm -mm. but you want to 
But that's selfish, though. It's not selfish. <laughs> it is because the one you want to be yeah, friends. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really. No, mean. yeah, he can, he can be friends with my friends. But why can't you can't, be friends with his friends? He can't take another girl friends. He got boys friends that. She's crazy. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Even my friends, if you want to talk to my husband, you have to call me. <laughs> <laughs> my boys friends will not want to. You are the best friend. I'm like you. All the guys out there, are you listening? Yeah. Did you hear what she said? She's a woman of no complication. Exactly. Because my my mind is you know straightforward. Have to be. If you stress me, I block you. I block you, innit? So the last question. This is the difficult one. I think. They both have something to say, guys. So be ready. Just get your glass of juice. Or wine. Hmm? Let yeah, me just this can be before. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> You're Italian, you should know. Exactly. <laughs> Boom. Let's start. So the last question is <laughs> Will you move in with your boyfriend before marriage? And why? Would you guys want to start? <laughs> oh yeah, start. <laughs> Okay. okay, so yeah. to begin, you know, in an African home, mm -hmm. we've been brought up in such a way that you cannot move in with your boyfriend or your fiance or your uh, mm -hmm. courtship man or whatsoever you call it. Yes, you can't move in with him because it doesn't really show, um, what's, what's the word? Is it respect? It's respect. Towards both families because you have, you are not yet married. I mean, they're not putting you together yet to them. So you cannot move in with the man. But in another way to, I mean, in our modern world now, a man would prefer to at least know how and what his woman is capable of. Mm -hmm. When I say that if she knows how to cook, if she can wash, if she can clean, if she, I mean... Or even how her temper, like how... Exactly, the way she is, I mean, how she controls her hunger and all that before he can move in with either his wife or her husband to be you get it so for them they have to not i would not move in i mean as in come and stay in his house is a no for me but obviously uh what what can i say is it that i don't even know how to put it <laughs> because, you can't because the whole thing is you are not allowed to go to your boyfriend or husband to be his house alone even if you want to know or you want to go and cook so he knows that you can cook or he can witness that you can cook, someone needs to be there. Like my friends, one of them or two hmm. of them have to be there. Hmm. For them, I just so it won't be that. I mean, you know, African thinking. Hey, I'll call it any, 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 or any, 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 then they'll have they'll so is it a yes, yes or no <laughs> let me conclude so they'll think that probably you guys have had sex so sex is an issue when it comes to uh two i mean uh two people coming together as one to get married is a major problem when it comes to that as i said for me i would not go and leave you with him but honestly speaking let me use ourselves and my husband as an example I didn't move in with him because I lived, even though I didn't live with my parents, I had my place that I was living. I was living with a friend of mine. Do you get it? I mean, I call her big sis. And I was, I mean, helping her. She was also helping me. And I learned quite a lot living with her. And I wasn't living with her because I wanted to go and visit my husband to be. No. Bear in mind, he has already come to visit us to see how I, I cook. He knows I clean. I mean, he knows me. Do you get my point? So it's not something that I will say that, oh, uh, I'll, I have to go and live with him or I have to stay with him or sleep where he lives before. It will be, I mean, uh, he'll know that, oh, we're here. You know how to wash, you know how to do this. Mm -hmm. So I will probably advise, you know, just to avoid, because listen, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. I'm not saying that you guys are going to have sex. But let's say you guys have have no intention or whatsoever to have sex. It's not but even about sex is about the behavior. Sometimes mm -hmm. you might say something. That no, 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 no. I'm coming like. to it. I'm trying to say mm -hmm. that it's not. It's not about the fact that you guys are going to have sex. Mm -hmm. But it can happen. So to avoid that, 
if you're going to your boyfriend's house or your husband to be or your girlfriend's house or your girl uh, your wife to be just go with a friend just i mean mm -mm. i would say just go with someone mm -mm. either a sister or brother or whatsoever just to avoid anything you know how these churches also think especially <clears throat> The, the, our aunties and the differences mm, and the decades and, and the whatsoever. And you know yourself. I know you watch this video. And it, yeah, you have to watch it because of something. And I think that is a problem for you guys. So, my mom and my dad will only tell me, Ethel, you need to be careful. Make sure you guys do not disgrace us or make sure you guys do not go having sex. But you guys should be careful. That doesn't mean that they are telling me that, oh, he shouldn't know that I, I can wash or he shouldn't know that I can clean or something. He has to know, and he, he knew it before we got married, basically. And if you ask me how, I didn't go and sleep at his place. But yes, I went to his house, he came to mine. Yes, I visited him, he visits me. And my parents are aware, his parents are aware. So it's not something that I would say that you should avoid each other until you get married. Trust me, you don't want to have surprises <laughs> after your wedding day. Because I've had, and I've, I mean, I saw, I, let me use my own auntie as an example. She got married. I was a witness. I signed the marriage certificate as a witness. I, uh, I as a witness as a family member. That marriage did not even last one year. So trust me, you cannot based on the fact that <clears throat> oh, when she any who say be or if you, do, you guys don't meet to know what your differences are. I don't like this. I like, I hate this. That's one as an example. If you tidy the hall and he doesn't like it to his own standard, you come back. He will clean it a, in a different way. So right now, I don't clean the living room anymore. <laughs> he does it. For the kitchen, I've taken over. The kitchen is mine. His, his is, is the living room. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, I mean, just know what is best for both of you, but just be careful. That's all know. I can say. It's a no. Yeah, no. Hmm. Don't move in. But, I mean, okay. you I'll can say, visit each other. What do you think? I will say, okay. <laughs> don't just come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me say something here. Yeah. Yes, say it. <laughs> Sometimes yes. people are just being hypocrites. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Because um, me, for example, I live by myself. Mm -hmm. So my man can have his house. I'm not saying that I do have or not. But Africans have that kind of mentality, mentality. that a woman or a young lady, mm -hmm. I'm talking by personal experience, yeah. a young lady living by herself automatically, oh, mm -hmm. Even though she has a man, the man will come and sleep over. The man will be there 24-7 and all that. It's not about that. Some people, they portray themselves as holy. But they are not holy. Like, they're not doing anything. They will even make you believe that, okay, I'm not doing anything. They live in their parents' house. They live in their parents' house. It. But then they will still be doing yes. whatever they want they to do. They are the people having the sex. When I everybody sex. everybody <laughs> has their personal thing. And then yes. they have to say... You yeah. will be judged personally. It's not like me showing you I'm holy yeah. is going to I'm going to get a place in heaven or something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But my point is, as Ethel said, I don't see anything wrong visiting your man. Yeah. It's all about self-control. I can tell you some people might even live together, yeah, and they can control themselves yeah. by not doing anything. Yes. It can happen. But because other people think, oh no, as far as they're living together. 100%. Yeah, but the whole thing is you don't also owe anyone explanation. True. So, and whatever happens, listen, let them think whatever they can think. <coughs> yeah. And yes. my point uh -huh. is, um, you owe you don't, God. you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to prove to anybody. Yes. You don't have to, it's your own personal thing. And it's all about self-control. Yes. Because as Ethel was saying, I disagree with you going to your man's house so you have to take your friends with. No. My relationship is not about me and my and friends. friends. It's about me and you. So if I come to your house and then my friends are always there, how do we get that time yeah, to, you don't even get to time share to talk. personal yeah. things? Because your friends yeah, are there. Yeah, that's how someone saying that yeah. if you'd like to go to his house, fine. But so far as you, your parents know that, oh, definitely. Yeah, you know, because it's my other, friends be there. My but from there. friends. My friends be there. Let me say, there's a guy that has temper that every single thing he gets angry because well, your friends are me. there. <laughs> because your friends are there, he's going to control it. Mm -hmm. And maybe a man that a man that is easy to raise their hand because yeah. your friends are there, they will control it. Yeah. But try that moment that maybe I'm not saying that 
if you can't control yourself don't go to awkward times like staying there too late then then you have to like stay over and stuff like that you can go there cook clean the house wash for them and everything that time you you are trying to study both uh, each other yeah as and i said if a man doesn't have like he can't control his temper yeah because it's just you two mm -hmm. if any argument happen if it's a man that slaps woman he will do it Oh yeah, that's true. That's if he's going to hit you and your friends are there, he won't yeah. do it because you think, oh, the friends are there, they're going to do something. But if it's just me and you, mm -hmm. and I can't control that thing, I will hit you. So yeah. I think yeah. it's all about self control. Mm -hmm. If you want to move okay. it with him, and you can control yourself, that's it's hard. Absolutely, it's hard, and you can control yourself, and you guys are fine. Good. That's entirely up to it's you. up to you. You don't have to prove to anybody. Yeah. At the end of the day, they don't pay your bills. Yeah. They don't pay your rent. They don't pay anything. So yeah, but it's I just want to keep it. It's like going on holidays. It's the same thing. Yeah, but I they just will say going on holidays is bad because you're not married. Prove me why is it wrong. wrong. I want to chip in a little bit. I mean, the uh, why you were saying that you'll be cooking for him and all that. But don't let the cooking always cook for him too. No, no it's not about always cooking. Like, yeah. He can come to your house and maybe that moment just you talk. You guys are just talking. Or you can talk and then yes. you, you think But like, for oh, the cooking, yeah, don't cook all the time. Oh. You know, that time, free, oh. that time you can even think, oh, you might just ask a random question. Let me say, oh, babe, let me say, in a scenario, maybe... If there's a woman here, like you create certain scenarios to yeah. to fit to yeah, fit just, that in future, if mm -hmm. this really happens to me, is this man going to be there for me? Yeah, yeah. Like that's the moment that you, you guys try to study yeah. each other, then you think, okay, maybe yes. It's not some people think um relationship is all based on like how good the man is in bed nah, or something nah, like that. Nah. No, it's not. Because if you don't have good communication and you get married, then that thing is still there. Your marriage is going to have you're yeah. going to have difficulties mm -hmm. because that first communication is not there. Exactly. So I think moving in maybe okay, no if you can't control yourself. Yeah. Which as Ethel said, you don't owe anybody explanation. explanation. And some people also might not move in, but then they're living as married people. Exactly. So, that, that's the whole thing. That, that, that's so the thing it's, yeah. it's up to you, I yeah. would say. It's really so tough. Sister quiet. She has a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> when she opened her mouth, you know there's coming. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> what do you think and why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Just you by yourself, like paying house rent. If you're leaving you, your parents, yeah. that's fine. But if you're leaving alone and your boyfriend is leaving alone, it's not easy. For that yeah, aspect. and you're thinking about getting married next year or next two years. You're using all the money to pay rent and mm -hmm. libraries and all that. And he's also using his money to do that. So how are you going to get the money to get married? Well, you can go and live with your parents again to save the money. Mm -hmm. Not even my parents doesn't like me there. What so <laughs> the point is it's not it's not bad as Jojo was saying if you can control yourself so you can mm -hmm. if you can control yourself that's fine mm -hmm. but it's uh, simple as that yes you can't live with a man <laughs> you are not married to. but I also say in terms of put, like expenses and all that and yeah that's it it has also a risk living with your mom yeah, because, because it can lead to a point whereby you guys are used to seeing each other like you are living you are literally living like as couples as so married couples. it won't even prompt it the guy to exactly, get married exactly so exactly that's they might think I'm, um, I'm already yeah. living with the lady yeah. she's doing yeah. everything that she has to do yeah so that kind of surprise let me yeah. say or that kind of thing you might the thing that maybe will push your man to say, I want to marry her because she's the woman that I think I want to spend my life with and stuff like that. But if you guys are living together 24-7, you do whatever a married woman would do. Yeah. What 
what's that what is going to push him to get to yeah. marry you what is going to push him to because definitely because that day will come i say it will come because they'll he, they, he sees you or what you're like and the boy he sees the body a hey, and trust then, me hey, I challenge that you can control yourself <laughs> <laughs> as i said when temptation are coming run <laughs> This he one is not about, about I'm picking my Bible, babe, let's read yeah, this exactly. chapter. Let's and when that happens, it's no. not that's the point that no. you're going to say, oh, no. because, because you might fall I with all the things like, no Yes, way. you will just fall for it. So, so yeah. to avoid that, as avoid I said, it, yeah. just don't move in. You can go and visit him, yes. But even so, by, by visiting him, be careful. Just be careful. Yeah. You do not fall into temptation. No, you're you are listening. No, you're, you're, it doesn't you're matter if the person is a man of God. <laughs> because that person is a human being like you. Yeah. He is not Jesus. <laughs> He'll do it. He he is not Jesus. So yeah. he, that the next level, I'm going to propose. I want to get married to the lady. Yeah. But if you just do whatever a married woman is doing, what is it? It will pull him off. Yeah. 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 What, like, what, we are already, what, we are already yeah. married. So yeah. what's it's like you're expecting a gift. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're expecting a, a gift, and then they don't even wrap it. They come and they're like, okay, or you know that that's you know, my gift. Exactly. There's and then no you end up the thing will happen. You have sex, so imagine the baby will wait. come, and when the baby comes, you know, that's when sometimes he will see that Howard Glass woman exactly. and, and then he will leave you. And it will be like, oh, so just wait we've lived be. all for all this while we've lived together, we've, I mean, had sex, we've had a baby now. Nah, I mean, What's I mean, next? I mean, There's I mean, no point for us to have the wedding. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, so he will three. not even have that. I mean, uh, that, 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 like M Bunny Trimu say, he will not have that uh nothing will push him nothing will push yeah. him to you know get because he's used to, to it, it's yeah okay, it's normal. And but in another scenario is that you don't even expect it's like you don't even know that such thing is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you both mistake Minkan is a from eh, whatever I say, you guys should take it like that. Mistakenly <laughs> <laughs> It happens that you guys have sex and you have a baby and uh, you both go separate ways. That's also another thing. But still doesn't it mean that... the child. Yeah, it will affect the child, yes, but that doesn't mean that is the end of the world. No, 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 no. Do no, take no. care of the child. Make sure you feel that... Do you, sis? You do. Yeah, just... Life still goes on. Exactly. Take care of the child. Listen, that's the best thing to have. Yeah. Now nowadays the churches will tell you if you are not ready, don't go into a relationship. <laughs> because yeah, I have yeah, to If you can't control yourself, don't African, go into a relationship, African, man. Africans think when you have a yeah. child already, oh, you're not going to get a man to marry you because you have a child. No, that's wrong. That's so wrong. That's yeah. really wrong. Yeah. It's, yeah. The child has nothing to do with you. you yeah. Getting yeah. married to another man. Exactly. As far as your man cares about you and yeah, your child, child as well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. fine. Yeah. But if you're dating somebody and they don't care about your child, then man, I run. It's not about your child is your your priority. Yeah. It's it's your just quit. So don't, don't think about that sex that he will give you because so people you end up and then your children are suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Don't say yeah. oh I don't have a man. I don't yeah. have a man. It's too. always good. I like women when like women that has children already like before marriage. Marriage, yeah. yeah. And I when you're really dating them. people, yeah. they get the child's opinion. Exactly because that's what you should do. Because what if the child you don't want it to affect the child because your child might not be happy. Maybe yes, everything can happen. So. Because then when you have your kid with the kid with that man, then the man is oh this is my child, this is my child, you know my, my child. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, But yeah. if the, the man just sees goes your child for, as his, ways, isn't it? that's yeah. the best a way. A man also has a child not we, we, getting married, yeah. I think we need to have a separate video on that yeah. and touch on that topic because it's a broad topic, so I would say. So I think that, that this is the end of, I mean, the questions. It's going to be, I'll divide this into two, obviously, because it's a long video. So you have a part one and a part <laughs> two. Yes. So uh, in general, what, 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 what would you like to say in terms of any advice you have out there in terms of relationship? In terms of relationship, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. That's your ex block. <laughs> <laughs> don't, even, don't even think about it twice. Because, yeah, it's... There's something maybe that they can't even a man here, baby. That's yeah, it. that's true. Yes, the first place is X. X is X. Okay? Expired. Expired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, don't think about it, Kura. So um, and then um, don't be too jealous. Oh, mm -hmm. don't yeah, be too that's jealous. true. Too. Yeah. 
because sometimes it will affect your marriage or even your relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend. Everything you 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 think about it, you complain about. Sister, I've experienced this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. She's got a lot to talk and, about. And at the end, separate video. At the end, you have to calm down because oh yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah, there. Yeah. It's your life. Yeah. You, you're, you're gonna affect your life. So just be careful out there, guys. Yeah. Do yeah. you have anything to say? I would say, ladies, don't feel pressure to get married. Yes. Don't don't let society. Mm -hmm. And your parents, your parents, your, your parents, child, your friends, anybody. your church members, especially the Dickens and the Dickens. You should get married if you're not. You're <laughs> not you should ready. you. Or don't even give you someone. Don't introduce you to yeah. someone. Be, be happy for your friends that Just get married. You. Yes. Take your yes. experience and get yes. advice from them, like mm -hmm. the the difficulties and the things, yeah. The, yeah. the good and the bad things from it, because mm -hmm. it's not it's not everything that glitters is gold. Mm -hmm. So I would say, don't be, don't feel like so everybody's getting married nowadays. Flashing weddings and everything, so mm -hmm. you feel pressure to to also get to married. also get married. You don't know what they go through. They Trust might come me. out they smiling, but mm -hmm. behind doors they cry. They cry. So yeah. when you're ready, save, 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 mm -hmm. and don't put all your saving in that one day, that wedding. That mm -hmm. is not the it's don't do it's it. just one day. That's mm -hmm. not marriage. Marriage is after. It's after. So yeah. save to help your family to get that better life. You know we all want to be those business women and yeah. get to the point that you're not forced to wake up 9 a.m. to go to work exactly so yeah build yourself whatever you're doing and also like don't feel pressured if you're ready you're ready don't don't go and stress your man because mm -hmm. your friends are getting married get so you want him to propose don't do that yeah and also as a young lady i would say um live a happy life but just be happy for people's win mm -hmm. as as Jemma was saying, don't yeah. be jealous. Yeah. If your friends are doing something, support them. Don't be too jealous. Yeah. Support jealous. them. Your space, your support your friends and everything <laughs> they're doing. If they have a business, support them. Mm -hmm. If they they come with ideas, even though mm -hmm. you disagree, don't just cut them off. Mm -hmm. Share your opinion. Maybe say, oh, in my opinion, I wouldn't do that. But don't be like, oh no, no, no. Nah, don't not be too good. selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Support your friends. Support anybody, everybody, and just. Live a happy life, but don't forget to save because saving is is really yeah. Important. I'm gonna do a separate video and talk about saving and what made this month. Eh, there was something special mm -hmm. about me that made that that man to marry me. Yeah. I'll tell you about it in a separate yeah. video. You, so you need good. to save, girls. You need to yeah, save. If, if you're a girl that yeah. save and know how to spend money, yeah, that also can attract yeah. a man. Yes. But so you are about pack to pack to everything you Me, buy, everything you buy. I'll, 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 let's do it in a separate video because so, if you talk today, it's going to be long. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your day. Enjoy whatever. <laughs> like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new on this channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in today. Until next time with the Essie Base. Bye for now. Bye. Ciao.